you guys ever wonder what makes a square bill so special and why a lot of fishermen, especially professionals, use them constantly? The bill is the magic on a square bill, but not just any bill. Obviously, hence the word square, it's usually square in shape. You can see on this bait right here, it's a computer chip board, right? So it's extremely durable, lots of action in this bait, but the bill extends out wider than the bait itself. So in doing so, the deflection is superior. When you're cranking that bait down there, every time it comes in contact with something, the bill is the first thing to come in contact with. So that's gonna shoot that bait off to the left or the right, or sometimes even roll over it a little bit to get that bait free, which is right about the time that bass is likely to strike. So remember this when you're selecting a square bill, you want one with a really broad lip, like this one right here. This is a SB57 by Bill Lewis. And I feel like these style baits are superior because of the deflection power that they have. All right guys, here's a classic setup right here of a place where I like to throw a square bill. As you can see, got a little bit of a mayfly hatch going on. We got big chunk bluffy rock. There's overhanging trees, there's laydowns. Perfect scenario for a four wheel drive crankbait like this square bill. And the key with it, I just wanna make sure I'm driving that bait into the cover, regardless of what it is. If it's a rock, if it's a little bit of grass, if it's a lay down, that's where those fish are hanging. And that's where you're gonna get that strike. You know, I really like a rod that has a nice parabolic tip to it. That's gonna to bow to the fish. But at the same time, when I get it down in the grass or I come in contact with cover, I can give it a little twitch of the tip and I can force that bait to deflect. So this here is a seven foot medium heavy favorite rush. Um, I'm throwing a six eight to one Johnny Morse platinum reel and 12 pounds cigar a Brazex fluorocarbon is the line of choice for this. You really want to make sure you got a good stout line when you're squirrel billing because you're always banging into something that's very very key. So obviously I'm not here to imitate a, a mayfly. You guys can see the color of the square bill. Tons of bluegill frequenting up here, eating the mayflies, and you know, just like I know, what's right behind them, and that's those largemouth bass, and that's what we're looking for. <sighs> that ain't necessarily what we're looking for, but he's in the right genus. <laughs> I mean, you, got a, you got a lot of heart in you, buddy. Attack of the mayflies. That dude was probably eating mayflies because he's he's small enough. So I call this thing a four-wheel drive crankbait. You literally can throw it anywhere. Some of the same places you may flip a Texas rig or something like that. Show them something different. Pick up a square bill, fire it in there. Don't worry about getting hung up. Let the bill do the work for you and you're gonna catch more bass.